Alright, hello guys, how's it going? In today's video, we have one last update for that major, major snowstorm that's going to be going on. We've been talking about this one for probably over a week now. This has been one of my earliest calls on a storm that just really panned out. I mean, the models had a great handle on it. Obviously, that's where the credit deserves to go. Uh, the models from, from the get-go really just knew what was going to happen, and it has not really changed too much. So we're going to talk about all of that within this video. <music> Now before we get straight into things, be sure to smash that like button, leave a comment down below, and subscribe for more weather related content. For today's comment of the day, I want to know how long do you think we have until our next big snowstorm? Let me know in the comments down below and I'll be picking one of those for tomorrow's video. Let's get straight into this video and we're taking a look at our national radar here actually. We had a few tornadoes yesterday obviously, I think we had a total of 12 so far. They usually end up finding out that there was more later on. But as of now, it was in kind of like the lower to mid-teens as far as how many tornadoes there was. Uh, and a lot of those actually happened pretty late this last night. I, it's 6.21 a.m. and a lot of those happened within the past five hours, actually. As you can see, we have that big storm in the central United States. And that is what caused those tornadoes. And there is going to be some severe weather as well for the upper Midwest Ohio Valley as well. The east isn't looking too crazy. We have pretty much some dry weather. We did have a lot of storminess yesterday here in Virginia. I don't know if that extended much further north than us. I do know that North Carolina had some of that as well. It's quite windy, quite rainy, and that was that nor'easter. Now we also have some snowfall already starting up for the northwest, and this is why this will be our final update because this storm is already really, really getting started. It's nowhere near as intense as it will be, but we do have a lot of that snowfall going on. So let's quickly zoom in here to a lot of that severe weather that's going on. As you can see, we have a lot of storminess down south all the way down into Texas, actually. And that is actually making its way into Arkansas and Louisiana by this point. That's more of a straight line thunderstorm type, type risk. We do have a lot of that tornadic activity that just came to an end. We actually had one in Missouri as well. But you can see a lot of that happened in north, uh, northeastern Oklahoma and then in through southwestern Missouri there. Uh, and now we kind of can see that broad low pressure system there because we can see the spin in the storm literally. So you can tell where that low pressure system is located at. Let's move up to the northwest now to take a look at some of that snowfall. Uh, and as you can see, a lot of that is already ongoing for Idaho, northern Nevada there, a lot of Montana and Wyoming, higher elevation regions are seeing that. As well as the Cascades, we have a lot of scattered showers moving on toward the Pacific Northwest. And as they move into the mountainous regions of Washington and Oregon, we are seeing a lot of those turn into some snowfall. So we are getting some snowfall starting out pretty early on as well. Uh, but it's mostly this snowfall that is over Idaho by this point that is the heavier form. And there probably is some accumulations happening in some higher elevation regions already where temperatures are colder as well as ground temperatures are colder. Now what we're going to do is we're going to move on and we're going to take a look at our simulated radar for the NAM 3KM model and just take a look at this entire storm and then we're going to go over snowfall totals towards the end. Now you just saw what the current radar is like, but this is by time we're reaching about 2 p.m. today on Monday, October 11th. And as you can see, that snowfall is going to become a lot more widespread, especially for Nevada, uh, Montana, and Wyoming there. Idaho, it will become a bit more widespread, but it already was becoming widespread on that actual radar we just took a look at. So this is going to be the storm by this afternoon already. Mostly snow, as you can see. We have very far below normal temperatures for these regions out west as of right now. That could be coming to an end in the longer range. We do have very, very uh, indicative signs of colder temperatures heading to the east in the longer range. Unfortunately, I'm not going to touch that in this video because I have to save some subjects to talk about in future videos. And I want to dedicate this video just to this storm. So probably as early as tomorrow, we're going to start talking about those upcoming cooldowns. Uh, and that's going to be very exciting to talk about. Here's by the time we're reaching about 8 p.m. today on Monday, October 11th. And as you can see, a lot of that snowfall is now making its way into Utah. Uh, still Nevada, still Idaho, still Montana, and still Wyoming as well by that point. Then by the time we reach about 6 a.m. on Tuesday, October 12th, you can see that we get a lot heavier snowfall there for Idaho, Montana, and Wyoming. Still going on for Utah and now Arizona and Colorado as the storm is moving through progressively 
and by the time we reach about, I would say this is approximately 2 p.m. on Tuesday, October 12th, so tomorrow afternoon, we can see that a majority of this storm is taking place now in Wyoming and Montana, and that is where I expect the majority of the snowfall to occur as well. There will be a lot of snowfall for a lot of states, but as far as those 20 to 30 inch plus amounts, it's going to be pretty exclusive for Montana and Wyoming, in my opinion. Now we do see, again, still some very heavy snowfall for Utah, Arizona, and portions of Colorado by this point. This snowstorm really begins to get going by the time we're reaching about 8 p.m. tomorrow on Tuesday, October 12th, because we see this storm really coming together. The low pressure system is probably somewhere over Colorado or Nebraska by this point. And we could see snowfall going on from south to north all the way from Utah, Colorado, up through Wyoming, and even in through Montana. The trend here has been that consistently the states that have been seeing the heaviest and most consistent snowfall have been Montana and Wyoming. And that is certainly playing a part in why I think they will get the most snowfall with this snowstorm. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to move on. We're going to take a look at about 2 a.m. on Wednesday, October 13th. And we're going to move on from that point forward. And then we're going to go over all the models total snowfall in just a moment. All right. Now, here is by the time we're reaching about 2 a.m. here on Wednesday, October 13th. And as you can see, we can tell that low pressure system is somewhere over South Dakota or Nebraska by this point. We have that snowfall going on for Montana, Wyoming, and Colorado. Uh, and this is actually about to get very heavy. As you can see, by the time we reach about 6 a.m. on Wednesday, October 13th, we have very heavy snowfall for Nebraska, South Dakota, Wyoming, and Montana. The closer this is to that green and blue mixing there, uh, the more skeptical I am of accumulation. So obviously Nebraska and South Dakota, I am questioning if that will be a very cold snow or if that's going to be a warmer, uh, more mixed type snowfall that's really going to struggle uh, to accumulate, especially with that rainfall that was just happening a frame earlier that mixes over to snow eventually. I think this is going to be mostly one of those you see the snow falling, but you don't see it stick type events for you guys closer to that green line. Now it could eventually start to accumulate, but it is going to struggle. As for Wyoming and Montana, they probably have over a foot, maybe even approaching two feet of snowfall by this point. So it's going to have no problem accumulating, even if you're seeing some mixing at times, because there will be already so much accumulation taking place. By 2 p.m. on Wednesday, October 13th, you can see this one is coming to an end as North Dakota and South Dakota are seeing some snowfall. Again, North Dakota was just seeing some rainfall, so I doubt that there will be much accumulation there. Now, by the time we take a look at that total snowfall on our NAM 3KM model, you can tell this really agrees with what I just said. We see less of that snowfall accumulation going on for the Dakotas or Nebraska. I think even this is a little much, but we could tell, and it's hard to tell because it's so high resolution. We will take a look at some lower resolution models in a moment, but if you're anywhere in the blues or grays, that's where you're expecting under six inches of snowfall. If you're anywhere in the purples, which are very hard to see, uh, six to 10. If you're anywhere in the pinks, it's going to be about 10 to 20. And those pastels, the pastel blue colors are kind of like turquoise type colors or like more like a teal, actually. That's where you're going to be at about a 20 to 30 inches. And you could kind of tell, you can hardly tell there, but where it begins to get kind of purplish within those teals, uh, that is where you're over 30 inches of snowfall. So we do expect 30 inches plus to be very, very possible. Uh, but I generally expect at least 20 inches of snowfall to be likely. Now, let's take a look at a lower resolution model that'll make it easier to see the European model here. And again, same amount stand. This looks actually in very good agreement with what we just took a look at, just a lower resolution version. It's very, very good to see these models getting good agreement. And that obviously increases my confidence in what they're calling for. GFS looks almost identical. Again, just lower resolution. There's obviously some differences, but not many. And then the Canadian model, which looks literally almost identical to the GFS. Very awesome to see this great agreement. And then here's our NAM 12K model, which is a lower resolution version of the first snowfall model we took a look at. And this one is also in really, really great agreement with the Canadian and GFS and European model. The interesting thing here is this one has a maximum there, as you can see in that little purple area over Wyoming. 54.4 inches of snowfall. I will warn you, this NAM model is known for overdoing things, so I wouldn't be surprised if that 54.4 would look more like a 30-inch type snowfall or 36-inch snowfall, something like that. Anyway, for today's confidence tab, we're at a 6 out of 6. Finally, we have moved up to that 
maximum competence. All of these models are in great agreement, uh, and this storm is already starting out. So for a snowstorm, I couldn't be any more confident. For today's comment of the day, I asked you guys yesterday, what do you think the maximum snowfall with this one will be? And Heathen Wolf said, I say around three feet for the max snowfall. And I think that's a good estimate for the maximum snowfall. For today's patron highlight of the day, I want to thank you all for supporting the channel, but especially our platinum patrons, Bill Crates, James Wade, Dovey Nagel, Lara the Pan, Mandy Birchfield, and Patrick Strickland as well. I would also like to thank our diamond patrons, Bill Roberts, Marcus Connolly, Noah Harley, Michael Kudalesa, Cat Bite, Charles Stinnett, Cindy Klein, Alan Goodmaben, Bill Dallas, Gary's, John Khaleesi, Dwight Balin, Stephen Kernethal, and Thomas D. Barr as well. If you'd like to join this very awesome patronage for the day, you can do so by joining our very amazing Patreon page in the description and in the pinned comments down below. I would also like to thank our uh, channel members here, Catbite, Stephen Fan, and Jeremy Cox as well. This will be located next to that subscribe button if you are interested in joining. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Be sure to smash that like button, leave a comment down below, and subscribe for more weather-related content. I will see you guys in the next video.